Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to read from the book of Jubilees, and we are in chapter 17. And in the first year of the fifth week, Isaac was weaned in this jubilee, and Abraham made a great banquet in the third month, on the day his son Isaac was weaned. And Ishmael, the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, was before the face of Abraham, which I already read this, I, re I remember I did. And Sarah said, send them away. And it hurt Abraham, but God said, listen to Sarah. And he sent them away. Now we're in chapter 18. And God said to him, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, behold, here am I. And he said, take your beloved son, whom you love, even Isaac, and go unto the high country and offer him on one of the mountains, which I will point out unto you. And he rose early in the morning and saddled his ass and took his young men, took, took his two young men with him and Isaac his son, and clave the wood of the burnt offering. And he went to the place on the third day, and he saw the place afar off. And he came to a well of water, and he said to his young men, Abide you here with the ass, and I and the lad shall go yonder. And when we have worshipped, we shall come again to you. And he took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took it in his hand, the fire and the knife. And they went, both of them, together to that place. And Isaac said to his father, Father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said unto him, Behold, the fire and the knife and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering, Father? And he said, God will provide for himself a sheep for a burnt offering, my son. And he drew near to the place of the mount of God. And he built an altar, and he placed the wood on the altar, and bound Isaac his son, and placed him on the wood which was upon the altar, and stretched out his hand to take the knife to slay Isaac his son. And I stood before him, and behold, the prince of Mastima, and the Lord said, Bid him not to slay his hand, to lay his hand on the lad, nor to do anything to him. Now remember, he's saying here, and, and I bid him. This, is, this whole book is the angels giving the history and the account of things that happened. So here... When it sounds like it doesn't make sense. And I stood before him. And before the prince of, of the Mestima. And the Lord said. Bid him not to lay his hand on the lad. Nor to do anything to him. For I have shown that he fears the Lord. And I called to him from heaven and said unto him. Abraham, Abraham, and he was terrified and said, Behold, here am I. And I said unto him, Lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do you anything to him. For now I have shown you, I have shown that you fear the Lord and have not withheld your son, your firstborn son from me. And the prince of the Mastima was put to shame. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a single ram caught by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called that place, The Lord has seen. So that it is said in the mount, The Lord has seen that is Mount Zion. And the Lord called Abraham by his name 
a second time from heaven, as he caused us to appear to speak to him in the name of the Lord. And he said, By myself have I sworn. This is God. Yeah, he has to swear by himself. What else could he swear by? And he said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your your son, your beloved son, from me, that in blessing I shall bless you, and in multiplying I shall multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your seed will inherit the cities of its enemies, and in your seed will all nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. And I have shown to all that you are faithful unto me in all that I have said unto you. Go in peace. And Abraham went to his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt by the well of the oath, and he celebrated this festival every year, seven days with joy. And he called it the festival of the Lord, according to the seven days during which he went and returned in peace. And accordingly has it been ordained and written on the heavenly tablets regarding Israel and its seed, that they should observe this festival seven days with the joy of festival. And we know from the book of Jasher that when Satan couldn't get through to Abraham or Isaac, that he then turned his attention to Sarah. And he went and told Sarah that her son was dead. And Sarah, in her old age, in a panic, running around, seeking everywhere for her son, which caused her to die. And then Isaac and Abraham returned home and they had to bury, bury Sarah, Sarah. But Satan was responsible for that. So when he can't get to you, he'll try to get to someone around you. So just be careful. Keep praying against him. Keep praying and staying close to God. Keep studying the word of God. And as always, yep, you know I'm going to say it. <laughs> I love you. Now on to Joshua.